In this basic PHP tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you about variables in PHP. Now, variables in PHP are very easy to, easy to use. They're very easy to declare. Um, in fact, you don't need to officially de declare them. You can just set them on the fly. Uh, and by this, I mean you don't have to, let's say, for example, in JavaScript, I've had to say uh, var name equals, and then I have to, have to assign a value. Uh, again, in other programming languages, you have to actually uh, declare your variable. What, what what we basically do essentially is just create the variable on its own. Um, for this example, I'm going to be using um, a two variables. Uh, one is going to be my name uh, and one is going to be my age. Um, I might include a few others along the way as well. So we start a variable with the dollar sign and you can see in my text editor it's immediately turned green. Uh, this is uh, green in my text editor is um, a variable so I'm gonna call this variable name now there are a few rules to variable names uh, the first rule is that it must be alphanumeric um, so you, you can include uh, capital um, letters and numbers it can't start with a number but it can start with an underscore so you can include underscores in your variable names so for example that would be a valid uh, variable name as with that, however, one name, for example, would not be a valid variable name. So um, I'm going to create my variable name as Alex, and in this, in single quotation marks, I'm just going to type. Uh, sorry, the variable name is called name, and uh, the contents of the variable is string data. I've included this in uh, within two single quotation marks. The next I'm going to create is age, and this is going to be equal to 21. So you can see that I haven't included my um, single quotation marks here. The reason for this is this is an integer value. Now what we can do in PHP is we can uh, also include so, sort of float and double values. Uh, so we can include a decimal point. So I could be say 21.5 um, but um, it all remains the same. We've created the variable name exactly the same but we've just assigned it with uh, a different value in the format it'd be found in. Now it's all well and good us creating these variables uh, let's just pop over to the browser and refresh you can see that nothing has happened whatsoever uh, the reason for this is we're not outputting anything so if I say wanted to output a sentence and incorporate these variables into a sentence um, I could start with echo I'm gonna do two single quotation marks I could use double quotation marks but I'll show you that in a minute now single quotation marks um, as discussed in my previous tutorial um, about echo this is a faster um, generally I think better way to uh, use echo um, I'm just gonna simply type a sentence so my name is uh, and I want the name here uh, and I am uh, age years old so what I essentially want to do let's just put a full stop at the end that's me being uh, so um, my name is name I essentially want to replace this here that you can see highlighted in blue with this contents of this variable and the same with age I want to replace that as well now the way I do this is I need to end what I've already started so I need to end this uh, echo here um, and I need to start a new one so I've ended this uh, echoing here and I've started a new one in between I want to type um, name but this isn't going to work because it's going to produce an error saying that we need a semicolon here um, and we also would need an echo here as well uh, so this might be confusing you but all we do is we simply concatenate on now just to summarize we've started our echo we've echoed my name is and we've included a space we've ended it but then we've concatenated with a full stop name so we've concatenated the value of this variable and concatenation basically means just joining two things together so we've joined the start of this so my name is then we've joined in the contents of my variable name which will be Alex and then we've joined on the end of our sentence so I'm just going to put a space there so uh, to keep this nice and tidy so we do exactly the same with age now I've got a really good tip for doing this all I do is I simply delete everything I put two of these two dots and then I type my variable name in okay so we can put our spaces in there so again we're continuing this sentence on we're ending the uh, output of the uh, string our, our static string and we're concatenating on our variable 
and then concatenating on the end here. And then we're ending our line with a semicolon. So let's just um, refresh and see what happens. Okay, so you can see my name is Alex and I'm 21 years old. Now obviously we can change things like this. So if I was to type, say for example, Dale and then type 49 and I refresh, you can see that will automatically update the sentence. So you can see how useful variables are in essence and also how easy they are to use in PHP. Now, what if I wanted to make my life a lot easier and include these variables without all this concatenation business? Um, you're going to kill me after this because this is a lot easier way to do it. Start with uh, double quotation marks. All I need to do is start out my sentence, my name is, and then I can just simply include the variable inside it. No concatenation, no ending of uh, the strings that we're echoing, nothing. And I am age years old. And that's basically it. So by adding double quotation marks in, we've automatically, there you go, nothing's changed. So let's just change this back to me. Nothing's changed, everything's still working, but we've used double quotation marks for a lot easier way to echo out variables. The only reason I wouldn't recommend using uh, double quotation marks is if I wanted to say uh, echo out some HTML inside, so image type equals, I'm not going to be able to use double quotation marks, I'm going to have to use single quotation marks because they're going to interfere. I mean, I could use double quotation marks and uh, cancel out each one, uh, as shown in my Echo tutorial, but it just it's just a lot of a slower process. So for me personally, I'd rather concatenate variables into this rather than um, faff around with uh, cancelling out anything else. So at the end of the day, it's completely up to you, but this is how variables basically work. Um, we can take, for example, things like Boolean variables. So we can say true equals true. Um, so that's a Boolean value there. It's, it will either be true or false. Um, we can do, again, um, uh, decimal values. So we can do 5.5, uh, etc. Um, you can eat any variables that you know of, they can be sort of included in into standard variables. And to do this, we just use our dollar sign and then the variable name following the rules. So that's basically variables uh, inside PHP.